Oh my goodness. What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? It's Matt, Matt Neyak. I just got back from a pretty stellar day on the water. I had another double digit day and uh, I had it on a day that I wasn't actually expecting to have it on. The water was actually very, very calm. There was a lot of floating grass, which is uh, indicative of these warmer months. But when we have calm waters in these warmer months, the bite can be very, very tough, uh, especially when there's floating grass around. But I had a pretty great day and I wanted to share with you guys uh, the catches of the day and actually all of the action that we had. Now, keep in mind, we do share uh, the post trip and the pre trip uh, plan with our insider members in the insider community where we go over the exact location of this trip and uh, plan everything out to the T on satellite imagery with them. Now, not only did I have a really great day, I was actually getting to hit the water for the first time with one of our new upcoming lures, the Fred Bomber. This is the first time this lure has ever hit the water at all. And I had a great day with it. I caught a lot of trout on it. I actually left trout out of this video because it became a bit redundant. But I had an amazing day with this Fred Bomber and I cannot wait for it to come out. So I want to go ahead and share all of this awesome action with you guys right now. What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? It's Matt, Matt and the Yak, and I got eight rods in the back. And I want to get some good catches today. And I'm going to go out here and I'm going to explore a little bit further than I normally go. I'm going to push down here to these creek mouths and such. Look for some of these fish on this outgoing tide that I have this morning. I'm going to be working top water as well as the Fred paddle tail. And I got the Fred bomber. So I'm going to try and throw those some today and see if I I can't get a decent fish on one of those, but we'll see what we can find in just a minute. But for now, I'm gonna hit these grass lines and see if I can't find a fish. Fish bump. Bop. Come on. First fish, little trout. Oh, shook it right here. All right. What I'm going to do now is just keep pushing. This creek mouth didn't supply any finds. So I'm going to keep moving, see if I can find some fish. beautiful out here this morning. Mom. Got a decent redfish. Oh, 
let's go. Nice start to the morning right here on that Fred paddle tail. Perfect, perfect way to start. Crush that Fred paddle tail. Nice, nice fish. Bet there's another one there too. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this or not, but I want you to watch my retrieve. I just had a hit. I'm slowly retrieving at a slow, steady retrieve, and then I'll kill it, give it a couple hops, pop, pop, let it sink back down, and then I'll Give it a slow, steady retrieve again. Let it fall. Hop, hop. And I'll just give it a slow, steady retrieve again. That's how I caught that last fish. It was just on that pause. Fish home. Another red. Right there where he was supposed to be. Another red. Right. Another nice red fish. So we got the Fred Bomber out there, seeing a lot of big mullet. We got a good outgoing tide this morning. There we go. Right here. On the Fred Bomber. him right here. Dang it. After now missing what I knew was a hit two times in a row, I went ahead and switched over to the Power Prawn USA Junior in that new Fred color, and I had it rigged on a Ice Strike Texas side jig head so I could bounce the bottom weedless, and uh, it wasn't long before it got picked up.
Got another red. Got another red on the Power Prawn Fred on that Fred Power Prawn USA on that Texas Eye bouncing it on the bottom. Power Prawn USA, baby. Pretty fish. I just had a hit right there. Yeah, they're sitting right here on this corner. There he is. He came back for it. Oh, redfish on the Fred Bomber. He came back for it. Let's go. Missed it on the camera on my head, though. Turned off right as he hooked up. On the old Fred Bomber, man. Let's go. First redfish on the Fred Bomber. These creek mouths are where it's at. Not a whole lot of current today, right after that new moon. Not a whole lot of wind. Come on, come on. There we go. Nice, beautiful fish. He came back and whapped it, dude. After that miss hit, I decided to reach in one of my favorite boxes in my tackle bag, my topwater box. But I wasn't reaching for a topwater. I was reaching for something I never, ever throw. I was reaching for a gold spoon. For some reason, something told me to throw a spoon in this spot. So I just listened to my gut and I'm glad I did. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Smoker on the spoon, bro. Smoker on the spoon. First fish on a spoon. Let's go. I just said to myself I should tie a spoon on and try it. And sure enough, coming right there. Got him. On that spoon. On that old Aqua Dream spoon. First fish on a spoon, man. He crushed it. Awesome. What a beautiful fish. Gorgeous, healthy fish. No tags on this guy, unfortunately. Smoke that spoon. That was awesome. Oh, 
I'm on. I'm on. I found that a lot of these fish were hitting my lures, but once they hit them, they would often come back for them if I just killed them and let them fall. I'm catching them all subsurface, man. I hadn't had any luck up top. That's not true. I caught one up top. I can't get this guy in the net. Like my first day. There he is. This guy hit it twice. That Fred paddle tail, crushing it, man. He was ready to go. It might be a manatee. little trout little trout hanging out with that manatee okay Throw this spoon some more, I reckon. At least I can fly it. I hadn't either. I just had a fish come up and hit the spoon right there in front of me. Hmm, ain't finding no fish out here. Another trout. It was at this point that I realized my bomber was torn and unusable, so it was time to go ahead and call it a day. Welcome back, Salt Strong Nation. So I wanted to go over that trip with you again. The lures that were productive were the Fred in the 2.0 version uh, and the bomber, as well as the Fred uh, Power Prawn USA. Uh, that new lure as well was also productive for me, as you saw in the footage. Uh, I had a fantastic day, and if you want to know how to find spots just like I did, Smart Fishing Spots, the new Salt Strong app, is an absolute game changer for finding uh, inshore spots to target all of your favorite inshore species, redfish, speckled trout, snook, flounder, all of that. Uh, is easily found now with the new Spark Fishing Spots app.
The lures that were productive for the day were the Fred Paddletail, the Fred Bomber, the Fred Power Prawn USA Junior, and uh, a gold spoon. All of my life, I have thrown a spoon and I've never caught fish on one until this day. And I couldn't have been more tickled about it because it was a stud redfish. And I know people swear by them and, and I've thrown them. Trust me, I, I've thrown them. But uh, I finally caught a fish on one. Um, and maybe now I'll throw them a little bit more. But uh, I appreciate you watching. If you're interested in picking up any of the lures or equipment that I used in this video, you can always head over to the tackle shop at fishstrong.com. And again, thanks for watching and see you on the water. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we are the number one online fishing club in America. We actually guarantee to help you find and catch more fish, save money on tackle, make friends while doing it, or it's free. So we hope to see you in the Salt Strong Insider Club soon, and thanks for watching.